Hello and welcome back to another episode. Um, today we're going to do something a little bit different than what I had initially planned um, after the last episode. Hi Lydia. After last episode's uh, issue where I thought that I had killed Lydia for a little bit, um, I didn't. Oh, that's cute. Um, after the last episode's issue with Lydia disappearing um, because of the glitch and me thinking that I had killed her for that time, and uh, I realized that I am not quite ready to say goodbye to Lydia yet. She is uh, one of the mods that I've, I've been showcasing throughout this whole thing. Um, this is actually a different voice actress than normal Lydia uh, because the mod itself gives her uh, a whole bunch of new dialogue. Um, an interaction, a lot more personality, I think. And so it would be a shame to, it would be a shame to lose her um, before you know you can you can hear a lot more of what she has to say, because she will comment on the main story quest line. She'll have different things to say based on interactions and what you do, and it's really cool. It's um, it's nice to kind of gr see her grow with you as a character. So. With that being said, um, we are going to head to Solstein. Uh, we're doing this earlier than I expected, but there is a black book that has the reward perk that is what we need to keep our girl safe. So let's go find ourselves a sailor. If you're looking for passage, talk to Captain Gallon. If you're looking for passage to Solstein, too bad. I'm not going back there anymore. What? It's hard to explain. I remember those people with the masks coming on board. Then, the next thing I remember, I was here, and they were gone. And that's not right, losing whole days like that. Oh, buddy, I can tell you some stories. going on there for a while. But after this, I'm done. Not going back to Solstein. Yes, you are. Have you been listening to me? I'm not going back there. Hmm. Persuade, intimidate, or bribe. Let's see if I can intimidate. I'm pretty powerful. Hold on now. Yeah. I'm just a simple sailor. I never wanted to get mixed up in any of this. Take you, but we leave immediately. Oh, hey, it didn't even charge me. <sighs> Are we there yet? Oh, my back is killing me. Well, here we are. This is Raven Rock. This, say I'm all that glass this is to see again. Good luck. Maybe you can figure out what's going on around here. Visit to Raven Rock, Outlander. State your intentions. Kill a dragon priest. Mirak, I. I'm not sure. I. I'm unsure. I swear I know the name, but I cannot place it. Anyways. I could be standing here forever and asking people about Mirak and never get anywhere. Um, okay, let's see. First things first, we need to talk to our friend the blacksmith. You haven't seen Crescius Corellius, have you? That foolish old man's taking my pickaxe again. I'm talking about an ancient Nordic pickaxe. Look, if you see Crescius, tell him to give me that pickaxe back, and I'll pay you for the trouble. No, I... wait. Maybe. I don't know how I know that name. I... I'm not sure. I don't want to talk about this. Alright, um... First, we need to go... here-ish. Just the man 
I was looking for. Yes, Sarah? With me? What's the matter with you? Sorry, I've just had a lot of pork-faced cowards coming by to mock my efforts. The name's Rallis. Rallis Sedaris. Out of Morgul. I've got a financier waiting for me back on the mainland. Sent me here in the interest of obtaining some relics. Oh. About this whole you take care, care of it, Lydia. You come out of the northern ashlands, you don't expect things. Thank you, Lydia. Easy, you know. But this was something outside my particular expertise. When I first got to Colbjorn, you couldn't even see it. Dug out a pile of the stuff taller than me just to find the barrel. Excavating isn't exactly my specialty. Even if it was, the ash storms fill it in faster than you can think. You think I've got that kind of money? No. I only get paid on delivery. Takes money to make money, all that rot. There's a lot of it at the other end. But I can't get there without a little kick to start it off. I got you. What? Are you... Are you serious? Well, I think I could make that work. We could sort out the details about the arrangement later. But for now, I'll manage the bid if you can manage the coin. Once we've got something worth looking at, I'll send word to you. Pleasure doing business with you, partner. I'll see you soon. What'd you kill over here? Ash Hopper, huh? Alright. Yeah, whenever I come to Solstheim, I like to seek this guy out first because it takes forever um, for him to get back to you. And you have to keep coming back here and giving him more gold for the dig, but it all pays off in the end. And so, you know, the sooner the sooner I can get that first initial fund uh, going, the sooner it is that we can actually fight that fight that boss. Anyways, alright, back to back to Ravenrock. So, I don't know how I did it in the editing thing, but I basically skipped that whole, um, the, the introduction of the quest, because that guy talks forever. It is just, it's so much, and really all he's saying is that his great-grandfather died down here. The East Empire Company sealed off the area so that nobody, nobody could get in, and he thinks that there's a, they're hiding a secret. And that's that's really all you need to know going forth with this with this quest. Um, but it is what's behind that secret that we are after.
Take up. Gonna need my kitty cat for this one. Would be ironic. All right, here we go. All of these are more. That was. Oh shit! It killed my cat. Get him, Lydia. Teach him that it's not right to run from battle. Oh, you're not gonna be able to get him. the guy's grandfather, his great grandfather. There's the journal that he wanted, and then here is the Blood Skull Blade. Alright. So in order to open this lock, we gotta power attack the walls. That is how you do it. This is also how you do it. You wait until Lydia gets onto the right side. Arise, dragon priest. Some common ground, huh? Place where we can both fight. Why aren't you attacking me?
I'm going to butcher this name. Zachrisos? Zachrisos. Shock resistance by 25. Uh, shock damage by 50%. And shock resistance by 25. Or back, backwards. Whatever. You guys, you guys saw that. Wow, that just... Yeah. Another disappointing dragon priest. Stay here. No matter what you see, no matter what you hear, just, just stay here. I'll be back. So, another seeker after knowledge enters my realm. I am Hermaeus Mora, Prince of Faith and Lord. Secrets. This is where all knowledge is hoarded. Now, perhaps you will be clever enough to uncover the secrets hidden here. So, welcome. Or perhaps you are a fool or a coward. If so, you are impaled. Leave your book again and escape before Apocrypha fades you off. Edges. You can find some pretty cool books in here. And there should be a spell book in here somewhere, but I can't seem to find it. It always eludes me. There's a Summon Seeker spell book somewhere back there where I've already passed by, but sometimes I can't find it. Once more into the bridge we must go. So what happened there was I was trying to grab the book out of the Seeker's uh, inventory and instead of re-clicking it, the dialogue prompt to follow the Daedric Prince of Shea Gorath uh, popped up instead of the search function and I just, without thinking, double clicked my button became a follower of Shea Gorath, losing all of the favor that I gained from Talos, and that is, that is not, that is not how we do things. I was actually hoping to save that level up for right now. Everything, just grab everything. 
get my cat back. Crown back on. Yes, I will. Alright, let's do it. can put the cat away for now. I actually normally do this this quest much, much earlier because uh, I don't like when my follower dies. This has actually been one of the later levels that I've that I've entered Apocrypha. So this ended up being easier than I thought, which is why I had the why I had the 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 standing stone ready was because I was ready to die a lot more than the ways that I died which was very stupidly see just like that if I had double tap that button I would have become a Boethia follower and that's just I can't have that so for those of you who don't know the black books um, there are several of them I don't know how many um, I'll put it on the screen but there are three perks that you can choose you can choose one of three perks per book each book has different perks um, this one uh, for scholars insight you gain uh, a level in something that you choose lovers insight you level up faster but it's the companions insight that we want which is your attack shout and destruction spell do no damage to your followers essentially we can no longer kill them um, and that's that's exactly what we need we can still hurt them like you know we'll, we'll, we could still knock them down take them out of battle whatever but uh, we can no longer kill them and, and that just makes me feel a whole lot better because I, uh, as you saw, we unlocked the um, level two of the storm call shout, and that's one of my favorites. But it'll hit everybody, uh, NPCs, enemies, and followers. So, so this is a good thing to have. All right, let's get out of Soul Sun. Let's get back and let's go meet uh, the Blades. Let's uh, keep going on the uh, main story quest. Oh, and uh, I will just let you know that um, uh, the Corellius fella who sent us down in here uh, is very grateful. Here, it's not much, but it's the best an old retired miner can do. And um, Glover Mallory, the guy who wanted the pickaxe back, decided, eh, I don't need the pickaxe, and gives it to us anyway. Tell you what, since you went through all the trouble of finding it for me and all, you keep it. So, that just, that's the end of those quests. So, I'm just going to get back to Skyrim. I will see you there. Alright, back in Skyrim. Um, so, before we get on to, uh, before we get over to Hearthspire, I wanted to drop off that. And that. And of course, that. Alright, looking good. Um, so we've got three claws and six masks. All right, let's go to Carspire.
Again. Fucking again. Come on. Breakers and Dawnbreakers already have charge, and I had charged up before even coming out here. Completely. Oh. That was a close one. Oh. Hey guys. Group photo. Alright, now that we're all here, and the dragon has been slain, Let's get going. Let's uh, let's go find Aldrin's wall. If I keep missing, I don't. What the hell is wrong with me? There we go. quite the battle.
Where's Lydia? Oh no, Lydia. What are you doing in there? Can you hide him? Be careful. Uh, I think he's not very dangerous, guys. But seriously, where's Lydia? Let's keep moving. All right, I think she's glitched out. Let's just keep moving. This looks promising. Yes, definitely early Akaviri stonework. We've got to get this bridge down. These pillars must have something to do with it. Oh no, a pillar yes. puzzle? These are Akaviri symbols. Here, let's see. You have this symbol for king and warrior. Whatever you did, it worked. Traded by, well, blood. Your blood, Dragonborn. Oh, okay. Say no more. You see how the ancient blades we beard the Cyrodiil. My god, can you be any slower? That shows both. Here it is. Aldrin's wall, so well preserved. I've never seen a finer example of early second era Kaviri sculpture in my youth. Ever. We need information, not a lecture on art. Yes, yes. Let's see what we can. Look, here is your threat. This panel goes back to the Beginning of time, when Alduin and the Dragon Cult ruled over Skyrim. Here, the humans rebelled against their Dragonborn Lord, the legendary Drakenthor. Alduin's defeat is the centerpiece of it all. You see, here is fallen from the sky. The Nord Tongs, masters of the voice, are arrayed against him. So does it show how they defeated him? Isn't that why we're here? Ah, patience. The Akaviri were not a straightforward people. Everything is couched in allegory, mythic symbolism. Yes, yes. This here, coming from the mouths of the Nord heroes, this is the Akaviri symbol for shout, but there's no way to know what shout is meant. You mean they used a shout to defeat Alduin? You're sure? Hmm? Oh, yes. Presumably something rather specific to dragons, or even Alduin himself. Remember? This is where they recorded all the hills of all the wind from the earth. So we're looking for a shout then. Damn it. Have you ever heard of such a thing? A shout that can knock a dragon out of the sky? Oh, I'm excited for it. You're probably right. I was hoping to avoid having to involve them in this, but it seems we have no choice. Right. Good thing they've already let you into their little cult. Not likely they'd help Esbern or me if we came crawling. We'll look around Skyhaven Temple and see what else the old blades might have left for us. It's a better hideout than I could have hoped for. Talos guard you. Lydia, you gotta stop dying on me.
So this is Ravenrock, eh? I can see why the High King gave it up to the Dark Elves so easily. I'm right behind you. Well, that's where I'm going to end the episode. Um, had to do some console commands to get Lydia back again. I don't know. I'm going to do some research to see if I can figure out why she keeps bugging out like this. Because um, I know now that I have the, the Companion's Insight perk, I know that I didn't kill her. I can be very sure of that. Um, I mean, I didn't kill her the first time either, so this is something that I, I really need to look really into. Really but wrong. thankfully I was able to um, go off to the side, go off to Solstheim for a little bit, but still come back and get a good chunk of the main story quest done. And two freaking dragons, can you believe it? A blood dragon and an elder dragon, so you know, I'm starting to see the results of my leveling up. So anyways, with that, I will leave it here. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate all the support. And I will see you in the next one. Hope you have a great day. And take care.